Hi guys, Matt from footballboots.co.uk and today we're unboxing the brand new and second generation X16.1 as a part of Adidas's Mercury pack for Euro 2016 which also sees the boots share a silver metallic base coat. Now the three stripes of Adidas have purposely unveiled their modified X16 silo to coincide with the upcoming Euro 16 tournament and the dazzling silver metallic colorway is without doubt going to shine throughout the competition with players such as Gareth Bale, Luis Suarez and David Silva representing the X range. However, we'll most likely opt for the covered laced version called the X16 Plus Pure Chaos, which we have here. So just like the previous X15 collection, the second gen edition also features a standard boot in the form of the 16.1 we have here, a leather variation, and also the revolutionary 16 plus pure chaos model which could prove to be an alternative to what the x15 plus prime knit boot was the launch x16.1 boots definitely have a striking appearance and flaunt its silver metallic colorway straight out of the box with additional flashes of solar red and overall feature a dramatically modified design to its previous x15.1 predecessor as i bring them in both here we can just see how different the boots actually are side by side so the entire synthetic upper poses in silver metallic from heel to toe and also features an aggressive slash design across the fourth and toe box and while it may create slightly more friction when striking and touching the ball it's predominantly just for unique visual. The upper itself also features some kind of effect to offer a subtle sparkle and pearlescent finish which looks really slick when struck by light. As I just bring it in close here we can see as that light does hit it we can see that effect that it does give off it's almost like a thumbprint effect that goes on when the light does strike that upper and it does look really sharp in person. So bringing in that other boot and we can see the stitching line at the medial side panel which then flows through the lacing system and onto the collar. The first change up of the new X16 sees Adidas leave absent a traditional lacing system and instead the eyelets pose externally and not actually through the upper so it will be interesting to feel how they actually form in terms of responsiveness and providing a snug fit. As I just bring in the previous X15.1, we can see that it does actually have those eyelets that go through the upper to join all the laces together. However, on the new 16.1, we can see that they are exposed, so they are just external and don't go through the upper itself. Looking at the next difference of construction from the X15.1 to the new 16.1 and the innovative collar takes centre stage. The 15.1 featured a neoprene tech fit collar However, the newer model opts for a slightly higher profile version of TechFit, seeing the heel tab curve away from the Achilles to offer a hug sensation without causing discomfort and also flows into the lacing system region. A nice touch sees Adidas stamp their X's iconic TechFit technology onto the upper next to a large X logo. However, unlike the Pure Chaos model, the standard 16.1 doesn't feature NSG technology, which is the biggest difference from the previous 15.1, which possessed a dotted application from heel to toe. As I bring it in here, hopefully we can see it on the camera, it does have that dotted application running from the toe box, side panel, to the heel cup, and it also features it on that tongue area as well. And it's just there to ensure that it's in friction on the ball in all conditions. However, as I bring in this 16.1, again, it's the standard version. There's no NSG on it whatsoever, not across the toe box, side panel, heel cup, and also where's that lacing system here? There's no NSG on it. I've got the Pure Chaos 2, and we can see that it is now the Elite model, and it does have NSG across the entire upper. It has the NSG embossed logo there, non-stop grit, and it does feature across that entire upper. So that is actually a pretty big absence on the 16.1. Feeling that upper in hand and it's noticeably stiffer compared to what you found on the 15.1 and in all honesty it has a slightly cheap feel and mass produced feel to it so if you're looking for a higher quality boot then definitely look at the softer and more premium X16 plus Pure Chaos. Just in hand here we can see that it is a little bit stiffer than what you found on the 15.1. It feels slightly thicker, more padded but again it is a little bit stiffer. Finishing the overall look of the X16.1 and Adidas have stamped their trademark logo onto the lateral side panel in black and also in a diagonal position whilst it has a rough texture which feels like sandpaper. It does have that rough texture, hopefully we can see that on camera here. We can just see that it has that bobbled effect and it does feel very rough in hand. Before looking at the new sole plate of the 16.1, some players who wore the X15.1 gave negative feedback regarding heel slippage of the neoprene heel liner. However, such a problem shouldn't be experienced in the follow-up 16.1 due to a suede-like material providing more friction and also aided by the hugging shape of the heel cup. 
In terms of fit and sizing, the X16.1 are very true to size. This pair are a UK 10.5, which is my size and they fit me perfectly. There's no excess space at the toe and they aren't too tight either. If you're a wire fitted player or someone who found the X15.1 too narrow, then you could definitely give the 16.1 a try due to the slightly wider last in the midfoot and the toe box, which offer a more forgiving fit throughout. Flipping the boots over and checking out their outsole, and we can see that Adidas have given the second gen X a popular and responsive translucent sprint frame sole plate with modernly designed studs in solar red to combine a conical base with a bladed finish. As I bring it in close here, we can just see it does have that conical base, that shape which is circular. However, on top of that, the studs themselves do have that almost teardrop-like shape and it is there just to increase responsiveness. Just like the previous x cloth stud system, the X16.1 Sprint Frame model will be great for both firm ground and 3G services, but also features duo stiffener bars at the midfoot and heel for straight line acceleration. So again, this Sprint Frame X16.1 will maybe be slightly more responsive, especially in straight lines, than the 15.1 model. So looking at the outsole still, the forefoot region of the sole plate also features a marble effect, which has a bumpy touch. As I bring it in close here, we can just see that marble effect, which has been given a finish to the sole plate, the sprint frame sole plate. It's not there for any performance enhancing aspects. It's just there for a classy finish for the boot. There's also some sprint frame lettering just by the toe region, which caps off the dramatically altered X boot to pose as a second gen of a tech minded boot construction from Adidas. Thanks for watching our unboxing of the Mercury Pack X16.1. Click the video a like if you enjoyed the boots or the video itself. Cheers.